we're south of Toledo, which is only two hours from home. We got a late start today. The weather was really crappy in our hometown. Uh, we had snow last night. There were people in the ditch and everything. So looks like it's going to be clear here on out, though. Say hi, huh? Here's my, here's my driver, driving Miss Daisy. As you can see, the van packed to the gills. Kevin is the master packer. <laughs> she put me to task for sure on this one. I know, I kept coming out with stuff. Oh, we gotta take this. We'd go put that in there and he'd come back in. Oh, we can't forget this. We need <laughs> Christmas lights and we need this and anyways. Is that all you got? Yeah, but I said, you know, I have faith in you. You can pack anything, so he did good. So we won't be getting into Nashville till eight. Eight, eight, yeah, 8 if we're lucky because we had a slow going because of the weather when we left. But uh, So we're going to, he's like, do we really have to unload when we get there? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, we do. I won't sleep well if everything's slow. Slave and then, driver. No, I just, it's kind of a long story, but... One year, my friend and I were doing a show, and we our van was stolen with all of our stuff in it. So I'm kind of paranoid about that now, and I just would rather have it in the room. Besides, I get up earlier than him, and I can start working on it. I should have him set the booth up tonight. Then I could really start working on it. <laughs> really? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> So, I meant to do a little video at the studio. I wanted to show you what it looked like. It looked like a bomb went off in there. Um, but I forgot. I just so focused on getting everything done and packed that I forgot to videotape a lot. But anyway, we have this and then I'll videotape a before of our room and then after we get, while we're setting up and after we get set up. So, we will check you out later. Bye. Bye. Just doing a quick update. We're south of Louisville. We have two and a half, two and a half more hours. Yep. And we'll be there. And then we're gonna go out to eat. And then we're gonna unload. Even though Kevin doesn't want to. Slave driver. <laughs> well, uh, we'll be back. We made it. We are at the hotel. Woo woo! And it is 10 o'clock at night. Of course, we stopped and had dinner, but. It's 10 o'clock. Time. Yeah, actually it's 11 o'clock machine time. No, 10 o'clock machine time. I don't know. Anyways, we're here. Safe and sound. Unloading the van. Going to bed. See you know So here it is. Thursday morning. And I just wanted to give you a short video clip of what the room looked like before. So this is the area that we will be setting our booth up. And then here is kind of the kitchen bathroom area. You can see all the patterns. We gotta rebox those. And we try to put everything in this room so we can set up the actual display, which the display is still in the van. So there you go. That's what we got going on right now. Give us about seven, eight hours and it'll be completely different. So we ran into a few snags. We forgot our hangers. We have I have like two boxes full of these. These I just had randomly in this Pandora's box. Anyways, this is what I use to hang things on my display. Makes it nice and simple, and then you just hang something on it. Look how easy that is. Well. I have maybe five of those in, that I found in Pandora's box. And the rest are at home in the studio. So this is our backup plan. Wire, wire cutters, and we make our own little hooks. So there you go. We figured it out. So I'm just getting started hanging the new stuff. So that'll be all punch new. And then over here, Mr. Kogut is hanging lights. Hello. And then it will be all the cross stitch. So, 
There you go. That's where we're at now. It's noon Thursday. We got a long ways to go. Peace out, y'all. Good morning. It is Friday morning and we are close. You can see there's some things definitely still to be done and I'm numbering everything like these little, I have to put the number on them so if you want to look it up down here in the files or you know some, sometimes they come in and they just point and they want, I want three of those and they read me the number so I'm working on numbering everything. Uh, I still have some spots to fill as you can see over there that table we may or may not leave it anyway it's still a little bit junky in here but we're getting there show opens tonight at six we want to get this done so we can spend the day in Nashville it's like I think eight o'clock right now and then this angel here is going to be sitting on a easel my friend Kristen is coming and bringing this black raw iron easel and so she'll be sitting up nice and high behind all of this cross stitch stuff here so and I'm over here writing numbers and getting everything labeled all right when it's finally done I will do another video we're ready for business look at this awesome uh, easel that my friend Kristen had so that we could display that angel so here's all the older cross stitch patterns here. And then uh, we have some punch needle over here. I know, I know I'm going too fast. Go slow. I'm a little wound up. We're getting ready to head to Nashville, downtown, go eat at uh, Blake Shelton's restaurant, which they have this salad that I'm in love with. It's like a barbecue, pulled pork salad. And it has pickles in it. I know it sounds really weird, but it's so good. I had that when I was here in June, last June. So anyway, we're heading downtown. I'm gonna go have some fun. We're open tonight, Friday. I don't even know the date. Mm, March 1st, February 28th. <laughs> I'm not sure, but anyway. And this, so this is all our punch needle patterns that we have. I know it's kind of slappy looking with these dividers. Not real attractive, but it sure makes it easier for everyone to pull. The orders that they're looking for uh, and then so today's Friday so it probably won't be till Sunday because Saturday is usually really busy Sunday I will go and do my best to try to catch people in their booths and show you their new stuff as well okay and so this is like our checkout counter right here at that old timey desktop we use there and then um, we've never done this before but since we're, we've never been open on Friday night it's the early bird special from 6 to 9 p.m. and we normally don't do it but I wanted to do it because our customers say they don't have enough time to see everything so we're trying it this year and I thought hey it's gonna be 6 to 9 at night we're offering wine so we <laughs> we have wine for our customers tonight if they want if they so choose and then so I have all the new cross stitch here in the corner and then uh, all the new cross stitch patterns are on this table I know I'm kind of going fast but my husband and my friend Kristen are waiting on me so I'm trying to get this done as quick as possible Thank you all so much for being a part of my Floss Tube community. I love, it's like a big family. And I just love that you are here and commenting and asking questions. And if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't do it. So, and I enjoy it. I really enjoy it. So thank you. And I'm gonna end on this note right here. Blake's place for lunch. Yeah, that's four floors. So that whole place is his? Yes.
T ten minutes. Isn't that what's called? Isn't that what's called? The countdown. Just still put stuff together. Got a little sweatshop here in the back room. Say hi Kristen. Hi. She's a she's a doll baby. She's back here putting stuff together. I'm in. I had the best friends. So ten minutes the show opens. Rocking out to a little country music. Going outside, I got this cute little. Oh, it's not really a flag, it's more like a, a wand hanging. Got that on our door. My window, I could use some work. My, I had big plans for my window. It was going to be uh, one of the angels. I was going to hang there with lights around it. But. I forgot that there was this like bar right in the center. Yeah, so it was all thrown together at the last minute. It's not so attractive, but anyway, so we're on the fourth floor. So just to give you an idea of like what's going on. See all the signs hanging of different places. The elevator. So we're on the fourth floor, so down there uh, where the waterfall and stuff is. That's the first floor, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So I guess we go up six floors. Well, the first floor really, I don't, the first floor is just the restaurant, lobby and stuff like that. So one, two, three, four floors of this hotel are nothing but, you know, Cross stitch patterns, design you know designers, um, distributors, and people that make uh, manufacturers of the floss and anything to do with cross stitch. The first four floors, and then fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth floors are going to be where the stores stay, the shop owners stay. So we're all in one building together, which is super cool. And a lot of fun and um, we have 10 minutes before we open and I see there's a lot of shops already open really or a lot of shops a lot of um, rooms already open but uh, anyway a few more minutes will be open I just want to show you that this is the first year that I actually have a sign okay so here's a funny story since I'm not actually doing um, a floss tube this week uh, I'm gonna go back in my room here. Since I'm not doing a floss tube this week, <laughs> my funny story this week is that a few years ago, Kevin and I, m well, we made a sign on our printer and it was just a, a printed sign on paper, okay? And we hung it over the ledge. I'm sure you saw out there. See these signs that hang? I'm going back out. Okay, so see these signs that hang? I'm going to zoom in. Look 
There you go. So you see stitch works. La di da. I saw hands on design. Oh, she's right there. Hands on design. She's got a line outside her room. That's pretty sweet. So you have all these signs hanging. So anyway, we had a sign this one year <laughs> and it was just paper. And we taped it up and the next morning we were down here. So down here you can have breakfast in the morning. And we're down there eating breakfast and I looked up and I'm like, well, where's our sign? It was gone. It had fallen overnight and evidently just whatever, maintenance or whoever at the hotel threw it away but I'm like oh my gosh what if it would have hit somebody or scared somebody and anyways it was like wow so anyway now we have a new sign this actually has grommets in it and I I got it made at Staples and um, tomorrow when I'm down at breakfast maybe I'll take a picture of it but kind of kind of see it it's like eight foot long yeah, this is gonna probably make you throw up trying to see this. Yeah, that's not working. But anyways, it just has my logo and it says punch needle and cross stitch. And it's it's a nice thing to have because people can see, you know, what floor you're on and stuff. And you know, they get familiar with your logo and stuff. So anyways, y'all. I'm about to open my door, so I'm gonna go. We'll um check in again tomorrow. Bye. Gorgeous. This is Fox and Rabbit Designs. Right here. So Brenda does the antique samplers and Karen does the other things that I'll show you here in a minute. But these are stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. These ones too are so great. Thank you. So I'm going to order when I get home. Oh! I'm hoping to put everything in my suitcase and I'll ship. I'll just give you that. Oh, perfect. perfect. So that, yeah, if you want to, because again, we can oh, ship it all to you. So. I got both of those. They're in my pocket oh, here. Oh, cool. That so just take it home. That's yes. awesome. Thank you so, so much. much. And, uh, Congratulations. What a good you month. too. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so we're just hoping to have more pay. Snap together box. Okay. So oh, I'm not wow. sure. Here, let me. Oh, that's awesome. So you All right. snap together the box cool. to make it. Oh, are you doing video? I'm doing a video. So now you're getting my voice on top of it. That's awesome, though. And a Wi Fi passcode. When people say, what's your Wi-Fi? And, I love that. and you either don't remember or you have to say capital this, lowercase this. Mm -hmm. So be our guest. And then when you flip it over, it has. That's genius. With an alternate be my guest charting for single people. That's so cool. And even if people haven't collected my waxers, the chart, it can just be a chart that I, that I really loved stitching. Oh, yeah. Was, this is an animal house for wax and it holds the animal waxers. Oh, that's cool. But it's Lambda Lambda Moo. Get it, Lambda Lambda Moo. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. So those Very are, cool. those are new okay. that are really doing well this year. Awesome. And for my bee nuts, since I do waxers, uh, yeah, I love that was those. last year's, all my little smalls. So cute. And my line of 96 waxer shapes. Wow. <laughs> you can put our voices in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you want to talk so about your scroll covers? Much self explanatory, and then the needle roll is brand new. My model's gonna help over there. So it's Fanny. a place to park your needle, and then you can fold it up, take it on the go. Oh, that's awesome! Stick okay. it into your scroll cover, your project bag, and, you and pull it out. Fanna, show them. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you're a good man, not knotted mm -hmm. up or anything. So, it, you know, it was mother or necessity is the mother of invention, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Something I wanted nobody had. Very cool. So you made it yourself. I love it.
All of her beautiful oh, yeah. work. Priscilla and her collaboration, so beautiful. Your display is even gorgeous. Thank you. We did a, kind of a big change up this year. Our, our old display was maybe looking a little, yeah, a little worn. We need a, we need a revamp. It looks really nice. And boy, this is popular. I see all these on Instagram. I mean, <laughs> these are so popular. I love it. And I love seeing everybody's color combinations. And the right. Finishes right. And I remember seeing your floss too of those. Those are so, and those are your dogs, right? Mm hmm How cute is that? Cool. No. Such beautiful work. Do you do all your own stitching? Um, I do a lot of the stitching. I do pretty much all of the finishing. Um, wow. Actually, no, I do all the finishing. I do have a few stitchers just because you can't. Okay, so this is one of the three samplers I've designed using these antique motifs from textiles from Indonesia. They're 100, 150 years old, and this is like what the old cloths look like and there's so many beautiful little parts of motifs and but they're arranged in a way that I don't think anybody had ever wanted to do that as a reproduction right. so I pulled the prettiest parts and made the motifs uh, filled them out to their okay. missing things and arranged them in oh, these different so samplers so that's so beautiful one a couple years ago I featured some of the uh, motifs that look like little sea monsters I call the dragons of Sumatra and the next year, I came out with the forests where I pulled uh, some kind of tree-shaped motifs out. Oh, uh, yeah. The little real Christmas trees are set near the bottom. Um, but again, just using these antique motifs pulled together. Beautiful. Um, and for this year, I've got the squirrels. Over, believe it or not, a few that. little squirrels tucked in on these samplers uh, that the people had. So. Uh, pulling together the motifs, and then I worked with Gloriana, made a special new color. Oh, that for this, red. So. I mean, the and whole thing is just gorgeous. The linen color, everything works so well together on that. So, so that's, it's been really uh, well received by the by the shops. I, awesome. I have a lot of fun with it, and it's always a special treat when, when it goes over well with the shops. Absolutely. You put this a lot is, of work into it. This is my dog joke. We uh, asked dogs what they uh, wanted, and instead of Pursuit of <laughs> that's that is so, adorable. Life, liberty, and pursuit of squirrels. Oh, that is so my dog. And she runs out of the house for squirrels. And I <laughs> have tried counting. Uh, there's a lot of little acorns and it's tons of squirrels tail. and little dogs just kind of scattered about. Wow, that's that. beautiful. I love it. But that's fun. That is a fun one. So those are all pretty big ones. I do. Do some smaller ones, but uh, those are. Well, thank you so much for explaining that to me and everyone else on Floss Tomb. Thanks for coming by.
Okay, so I hope you got it. I don't drop my phone. But this is just kind of gives you an idea. Uh, the main floor, obviously the lobby. So we have floor two, floor three, four, and five are all vendors. And then the upper floors are, you know, where the shops and other guests stay. But um, I'm only on the third floor. So I have three more floors to do. And I've been gone quite a while and my husband is in the booth or in the room taking care of people and place them, you know, the orders and everything. So, uh, yeah, it's going really slow, but I just met Stacy Nash. Her and I were cracking up. We've been doing this show, both of us, for probably, you know, 10 years and we've never met. So I had a nice visit with her and you know, hands-on design, Kathy, I got to meet her and her husband, and I'm just having a ball. Um, Isabella from The Primitive Hair, and anyways, it's just been fun. So I spent, I'm spending way too much time in each room, and I'm never going to get through this. So that's why I decided to just stick with uh, meeting with the designers and promoting their products and I'm not necessarily going into the thread rooms and the uh, you know linen and, and that type of thing because I just don't have time and then you know I, I obviously go in and ask permission to videotape and I've had someone that didn't want me to so that's fine so um, you know, that's why you're not going to see everything <laughs> But, uh, and it's been fun too to meet um, fellow floss tubers. Uh, Cheryl from Tranquil Stitchers, I've met her. I got to meet Stephanie, and I guess Pam's here too, but I haven't met uh, Pam yet. I'm not even sure what floor they're on or if I'll even get to see her. But anyway, just wanted to pop in and say that.
I just got it. It's a new iPhone. Yeah. So the camera. Okay. This one is uh, on the same count, 32 count. Uh, the little one is over one, and this one is over two. It's amazing the difference. I get some of these oh, here. I'll be back in a few minutes. But that garland is so cute. Thank you. Yeah, the uh, when people see this on uh, the greenery here, they, it, they get the idea, they get the vision that that it right. would work great on a tree. So right, that's, definitely. That was my purpose. Yeah, I'm gonna go outside. So, his venture on Christmas Eve. Aww, he's adorable. Thank you. Yeah, it really films good through the window. I'm surprised. Yeah, I was worried that it wouldn't. Yep. And so that's the same over one and over two? Uh, that, the one to the right is 28 over one. The one to the left is 36 over two. Okay. It's full two strands cross-stitch. Okay. No over one. Oh, okay. Got it. The tree is so cute. How are you doing it? Up? And the same thing with that snowman there with the blue. Uh -huh. That is pitted um, with all over two or all over one. The other one does not have the bird feeding on it, but it has different sized snowflakes all around.
does she stitch everything herself? Uh, most of it, I think, is hers, yeah. Wow. And it looks like, is it 40 count? It looks Yes. Just, oh my gosh, wow. Oh. I love that she has the matching <laughs> pillows or pin cushions. Or, yes, or so they, sell, they sold quickly. She's probably, this is yeah the only day that we can get out of our room, so that's yes. probably what she's doing. Yep, yep. Right? Yeah, so I was like, hurry, go see the people you want to see and get the things you want to get. And she's like a little kid at Disneyland. It's so cute because, <laughs> you know, all these people to her are these big celebrity people, and she's so excited to meet them. And That's cool. It's such a fun show. Everyone's so friendly. And oh, my gosh. It's just such a great community. Yeah. We've That's owned our own clothing business and done different things. It's nothing like this. This has been really great. Good. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I look forward to it every year. I almost wish they had two mm -hmm. a year, but then I think, oh my gosh, I just kill myself getting ready for, for the yeah. one. I can't imagine if they did have two. Yeah. But just the, it's so much fun to see everyone.
nice to like I've never been out of my booth as much as I have today. Yeah. So it's you know to see everyone. And That's a great. lot of the designers I had never even met before. Oh, wow. and yeah, so it's really been fun. You would love her around. You would love her stuff. Oh yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You should go look at it. I love that, you know, we all have such a unique look. Like yeah. no one's looks like anyone else's. So. I know, I love that too. Yeah. This price was there, so I just took it down before I Oh, I forgot all about that. That's Sorry. okay. I, I love this here. one. Yeah. Go. Yeah, do it. So beautiful. No, don't be. Do you do all your stitching too? Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh heavens no. I stitched that sucker, the one of these salt boxes over here, and I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> I complained. Here we are, Monday morning. Heading out. We are stopping at Kristen's real quick at her house and then Heading to Missouri to see uh, my family. My mom and Jerry are driving up there, so we get to spend a couple days with them. But uh, this show was the best show we've ever had here, and sold out of almost all of our new cross stitch patterns. <laughs> so I'm gonna enjoy these next couple of days off because when I get back, I have so many orders to fill. It's nuts. But anyways, um, I hope you enjoy the video of our experience.